Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how I make photo corners for my junk journals. Um, I often want to use photographs, you know, as images or just, it, or in, in this particular one that I'm working on right now, um, it is a photo album junk journal. And I don't want to always, I don't always want to put glue on the back of the photos because we might want to take them out at some point. Someone might want to put them somewhere else or whatever. I don't really want to damage all of our family photos. So what I'm doing these days is I'm making my own photo corners, which is very simple. It's quick and easy and a lot of, a lot of fun and I think that they look really good. So I'm going to just show a couple, two or three different methods of, of making them. This is the junk journal photo album that I'm making as a gift for my niece. It's an overdue birthday gift, but I don't mind that it's overdue and I know that she won't either. Um, her name is Amira and I have been making this on you know, in a series of videos. So right from the very beginning, you can see how I put this one together and how I'm still continuing to do so. And today it's photo corners. So what I want to show you is, first of all, this method where you just take a piece of paper. This is a very inexpensive little um, notepad from the dollar store. I think you get four of them for a dollar or something, a dollar twenty-five, and I like it. I like it because I like the way they look at the end with the stripes and the pastel, and I also like the way I can cut straight lines with my scissors. Because one thing you have to do, the only difficult thing about making photo corners is that you have to have an exact square. So I do. I like this one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to cut this little bit off. So I have um, four lines. And the reason why I'm paying attention to this is because I need to make, I like to make four all the same, so I want to make the same size of square. Now here, I fold this in half and cut on this line the fold line. Okay, now these are not exact squares and that's, and I do need exact squares. So as almost everybody knows, you can always make a square piece of paper by simply folding down. Okay, all the sides are, will be square here. And then I just cut off this little extra piece. So this should be a perfect square. And then I, I want four of them the same. Now that doesn't look square to me. So I think I'm doing it the wrong way. I need to bring it this way. Oh, okay, what am I doing wrong here? Make two more the same. One, two, three, four. Cut on the fourth line. Cut it in half. Extra piece off. 
and this will be an exact square. And I do the same with the last one. my four corners or my four squares. Now all I have to do is is simply fold it to make a triangle, fold it on the diagonal and then fold this. Do the same, just fold it again from the top to the bottom and make another little um, another triangle. So that's all that's all the folding we have to do. And we have our corner pretty much made. Um, there, there, but there are two little places where it could be. So what I do is I take, I take, I open up the triangle again and cut off the most of this side. And then what I do is I will use this as a, I'll glue this together and then stick, th this is the back, stick it on the, on the album. And here's a photo, which I can simply stick into the thing. There you go. How good is that? And then you just, you know, glue, glue this onto the, onto, onto the, your, um, page. So how nice is that? So I'm going to make the rest and I'll speed up the video while I do so. There. Now I'm going to I'll put this one here, or I mean in that direction.
there. Now I want to just put a little bit of glue on them. Press down, and there you have it. This is one of the Vancouver um, photos. I've made it a bit, I, I, I glued the thing onto the wrong page because there isn't much room there and I didn't see what I was doing. See my little dog? He wants to help. He's a good dog. What a good boy you are, Leroy. Thanks for helping. There. So this is my niece, Amira, who it's her birthday present. This is my beautiful granddaughter, Autumn, who we lost because she got leukemia. And this is Amira's dad. And we were all taking photos of each other and he was taking a photo of me while I was taking a photo of him. It was hilarious. So that was a happy day in Vancouver. So, um, so that's the first way that I make the photo corners. Now the second way is to use a corner punch. And this is a just a scrap piece of paper from a Somerset Studio magazine. Someone's beautiful artwork that's going to have a new transformed life. So that's not good. I didn't make it cheapers. I got to watch what I'm doing here. I get so um, kind of immersed in the video thing that I sometimes don't pay attention too much to what I'm doing, which isn't good. So there, one. Now I'm not crazy about this one because, I mean, I love the method, but my, my usual, not, not the one I just did, but the next one that I'm going to do is I use a template. And I found that um, one and a half inches by one and a half inches is the size I like to use for making my photo corners. And this is a one inch square um, punch. I wish it was half an inch bigger, but I got to use what I got. And this is it. You know, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, this size is fine. Uh oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't really see, I, I didn't make a perfect square here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I gotta watch myself here. There, we got the four squares. dog's trying to run off with my daughter, my granddaughter's, uh, or not my granddaughter, my niece's um, album. That's, that's not good. So I just do the same. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to take a little break and, and play with the dog for a few minutes and then I'll be back. Thank you. Okay. I'm back. 
And while I was gone, I not only played with the dog a little bit and settled him down, but I made the first three of the photo corners using the this scrap paper from the Somerset Studio Magazine. I find the paper from the Somerset Studio Magazine, from Flow Magazine, or Daphne's Diary, any of those, the paper is such good quality and it's kind of thick, it is a little more difficult to work with for photo corners because of the tiny fold. But it's okay, it works pretty well. I would never use cardstock, however. It would just be too difficult. Um, and I love, I love this pattern that I'm using right now. So um, now I, I, I like to put a little bit of glue like, I've, okay, I've made the fold and everything. It's all done. I'm going to open the inside, first of all, and just put a tiny drop of glue in there to, to flatten the whole thing a little bit better. And then a little bit on the, on the little flap. Fold it back in. And there we have it. They're all done. Now, see, these ones... If I can find the one I just did to show you. Yeah, Th these ones and these ones are the one inch from the one inch punch, and they are definitely small, a little bit smaller than than the ones that I made myself. I kind of like the larger ones better. And that's why I made this template a little bit larger. Anyway, let's get let's try to use these ones, let's see what happens. Um, okay, this is in Providence, and it's a photo of little Layla, um, Amira's little sister. And I'm going to actually make it smaller so that it can go up and down in the, in the book. So let's, I like, I, I love this um, kind of ruler thing. Because it has all the it has a grid on it and that enables me to make a straight or easy, it's easier to, to make a straight um, line there now after saying that let's look and see if it really is a straight line I hope it is I think it is anyway this is this is from our trip to Providence. So, little Layla drinking a glass of milk. It looks like she has, they're using the chair as a little table and she has something to eat, a little snack or something on the plate. I mean, there are other ways of doing this, I'm sure, but this is how I do it. So that, and that, and where did that one go? Oh no, what did I do with it? Did it fall on the floor? I don't think so. You know, things just disappear. There, I found it. You know, like my scissors, my pen, all these things, they just kind of disappear while I'm using them. But that's okay. I can always find them again because I know I didn't go anywhere else. So here we are. Okay, Providence. Let's find a page where we can put Layla's photo. I don't think it would fit on that. Um, I think this page here would be fine. Now let's try to maneuver this. I 
I just put a little bit of glue on each one. And this is the art glitter glue that I'm using, but it pretty much all glue, you know, all decent good glue will work. Because it's just paper to paper. down and there we have it so this is the this this is the one that I made with the one inch square punch and they one thing about this method is that the squares are always perfect you're not relying on yourself to make a perfect square it just punches out and if you're going to do any huge amount of these things that's probably the way to go because you'll save a heck of a lot of time. Now, my last method to show you for making photo corners is um, with this template. And the template is one and a half, I believe, I hope, one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Yes, it's one and 1 1.5 by 1.5. And Let's find a paper for the purpose. Okay, this came from Daphne's diary, and um, I thought I would use it for this rather than for whatever it was that Daphne's diary had in mind. And I'll make the square right on the corner there, or I mean the edge, and where's my pencil? Actually, I can do it on this side, and I won't have a pencil line on my corner, on my photo corner. So, okay, there, and then I'll make the next one right next to it, so I don't have to cut so much. And I know they all line up. There's two. Here's the third one. And here's the last, the fourth one. So I want to make sure that it lines up. I love Daphne's diary and there's so many ways to use it you know like I like to save it I, I mean I would like to save it but I end up using it because I think that's maybe better for one thing I don't want to have a lot of stuff around. It, it uses this. Oh dear, I, I I think I did two by accident. Two. I don't know. How, oh, I, this isn't one. What is that? This is one. I don't know how I got that. Let's just forget it for now. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to make my photo corners now.
have all of all four done of of the ones where I used the template, the photo corners where I used the template, and let me get another photo. Um, okay, this is a this is a Vancouver photo. It's a, it's a real family photo of my parents are both in here and our parents my parents have left this world they're both in here and Amira and her little sister Layla and some cousins and that's in Vancouver that was a happy day why don't we just put it right here These are kind of cheerful little little corners I've made. And see, see, this one is a bit bigger than the other ones, and I find them easier to make when they're a little larger, and I find them easier to use. It just is. Not so fidgety and fussy. And when I was young, younger, it was easier. And I did a lot of fussy, fidgety things that I enjoyed doing them. But now um, my, uh, my hands shake a little bit and, and my eyesight isn't that great like it used to be. So it's great to be able to make them slightly larger. So I, I like them to be, um, I, I like them to be um, one and a half inches by one and a half inches square. And this on the back, somebody has written. So it's really good to be able to preserve these photos and not put glue all over the, all over the uh, back. Somebody has written all of the names of the people in the photo and it says summer 95. So um, I might make a little note also underneath the photo. I think I'll write something underneath a few of them, if not all. So, here we are. And that is basically what I wanted to show you today, was just how I make photo corners for, for art journals, any art journals. And in this case, it's a a photo album junk journal and I'm sure that my niece will like it it is taking me a little longer than I had hoped to make it but that's okay anyway thank you so much for being with me and but oh I forgot this is something I need to do when I started this video I believe I forgot to introduce myself so I just want you to know that I'm Laura and I'm from the Queen of Mirth, and I'm very, very happy that you came and had a look at this video that I've just made. Thanks so much, and come back and see me soon. Bye.